welcome or welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing a review it's going to be a personal review and then also my doggies will review on what they think about this new doggy food so they're running low whatever i usually give them and it was about time to buy them a new one and do a review on this one because they've never had this before so it's gonna be your a complete and honest look into this brand and ingredients and covering all of that I'm gonna be putting chapters so if you guys wanna skip through whatever you find important or if you just wanna see my doggies review what they think about it then go ahead and search through the chapters so I have all my doggies inside Misty's right here behind me and then Lincoln and Nixie are off camera playing. So let's get into the review. So according to the AAFCO, which is the Association of American Feed Control Officials, it received a rating letter grade of A and a general rating of five out of five. When I took a look at the ingredients list, I saw a few ingredients that some may think are controversial, such as blood meal, potato, pomace, pomace, dried seaweed meal, and brewer's dried yeast. When I looked at the guaranteed analysis, it has a crude protein percentage of 26%, a crude fat percentage of 18%, a crude fiber percentage of 3.8%, moisture 9%, and omega-6 2.6%. The first ingredient is beef meal which is a meat concentrate and that's almost 300% more protein than fresh meat. Sorghum is the second ingredient which is a grain that's similar to corn. The omega-6 percentage that's listed in the analysis comes from the chicken fat. The fiber comes from the alfalfa meal. So tomato pomace is considered one of the controversial items on the list because some believe that it is a good source of fiber while others believe that it is an inexpensive pet food filler. The dried seaweed meal is another controversial item and some say that it's inexpensive carbohydrates that's added I typically see this ingredient more in feeds for cattle hogs sheep horses livestock type so this dog food does have taurine added to it it is associated with a healthy heart muscle function it's not a typical essential nutrient that's needed in canines but some dogs have shown deficiency for taurine and it's more common in grain-free diets so it doesn't hurt to have it in it and then brewer's yeast is another controversial item some say that it's good because it repels fleas while others say that it could lead to allergies but then again Every dog is different, so it's all dependent on personal preference. Really. There were no recalls that I could see, and the overall score is four and a half out of five. So pricing. This bag is a 50 pound bag, and we paid $60. So that comes out to $1.20 per pound. And the food that I was feeding them before, it's pure balance for large breeds, and that one is about a dollar per pound. And comparing those two, I would say this one is better, just for the very reason that it has more protein content in it. Even though the other brand has chicken as its first ingredient, the protein content was 22% for that one, but this one is actually 26%. So the first ingredient is really more of a marketing tactic to make a product look better than it actually is. For example, when you see a word like beef or real beef, chicken, etc. As a first ingredient, it's at least 70 to 90% water before processing. It should really be considered more lower down the list than what it actually is because they're not taking into consideration the water loss. So if you go by weight, it's actually lower down the list, more closer to vitamins and minerals, which this also leads to less protein percentage. So when you look at the meal, like chicken meal, it is 65 to 70 percent more protein since it is dry. That's five times more meat concentrate than the real meat. So during the cooking process, chicken meal or other meat meals do not shrink below the grain weight, producing more of a true meat-based formula for your pets. So just remember, read the ingredient list, the guaranteed analysis, make sure it contains all the necessary nutrients for your pet in sufficient amounts to keep your pets healthy and remember, more expensive does not always mean that it's better for your pets just more money for better advertising okay so what I can say about this dog food is that I wouldn't say that it's suitable for larger dog breeds I think that's one thing that the other brand that I was using does have that this one doesn't since my dogs are larger breeds they do need the glucosamine chondroitin all those other good items that's good for 
their joints and hips and muscles and all that good stuff so instead I had to buy a separate ingredient to add to the dog food so while they're reviewing I will add some of this to it I just want to keep this purely based off of what they think on the dog food so I'm gonna be adding some of the glucosamine and then uh, just water normally I do broth but I'm just gonna do water just so that it doesn't compromise their true reaction to what they think of this brand new dog food now what i predict is gonna happen is lincoln's gonna love it because he's a hungry monster i think misty it could go both ways and then nixie she will be wary wary of the food but she'll eat it especially because it's already a little bit past their breakfast time just so that i can go ahead and do this review and opening in front of you guys. I'm going to be doing each dog individually just to get their true reaction. So let's get to it. it smells like dog food. Sit. Kiss. There you go. What do we think? Is it good? I think she likes it. She's thirsty. Wow! So, do you have any remarks? She finished it all. Let them know. What would you say? How will we rate? How will we rate this uh, this new dog food, Victor Premium Dog Food? Will we give it a thumbs up? Yep. Yeah. I think she liked it. She's a little camera shy, so she doesn't have much to say, but I think she wants more. She's thirsty. All right, so that was my Doberman's review. Next is going to be my Rottweiler Misty. Uh, I'm doing it oldest to youngest. Yes! What do we think? I think she likes it. What do we think? Are we done? Missy, do we have any words, any comments, remarks about this? Was it good? Well, there you have it, guys. Um, seems like she did like it, but I don't think she's very hungry. Right? Yeah. She ate about a half cup. So it's not much. Um, she actually didn't eat her food last night either, which was the, the other one. Um, so I know it's not the actual brand. She did eat something, so that tells me that she does like it. She hasn't been hungry lately, but that was Misty. Okay, now let's see Lincoln. Ah, uh sit. -uh, I'm just gonna pour Misty's food in here. I don't wanna waste it. Let's slow down a little bit. Let, let's taste the food first. He doesn't chew, he swallows. So I got him this slow eater because as you can see, he eats super, super fast. And it's helped a lot. This is actually a lot slower. If I feed him in a bowl like this, he will finish it in five seconds. I'm holding it so he doesn't push the bowl all over the place because he gets very excited and he'll just drag the bowl everywhere. I think he really likes the, this bowl because he... You still have some, you still have some in here too. It's like a little puzzle and he just searches for the little pivotal pieces. I would say that's a 
10 out of 10. I think he liked it. Do we have any uh, comments, remarks, Lincoln? I think that meant yum, yum. I think he does like it, he wants more, but he can't have any more because he's gonna get chunky. <laughs> All right guys, so that was our review on Victor premium dog food. My doggies loved it. So again, always do your research. Check the ingredients list and see what you're comfortable with. Read reviews, how others have done. Check if they've ever had any recalls. That's important as well for the safety of your pets and your doggies. And if you made it this far, hit that subscribe button, that like button if you enjoyed this video. And check the description down below for more information. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.